So here we are. The antique crewwork collection that uh, we've been discussing every Sunday since lockdown. This is a mid 17th century red work embroidery onto Jacobean linen twill. And this is our replica I'm holding up here in our spare bedroom. And this is an exciting moment because we've actually finished the three panels which make, go to make up this piece. So here you see Val and I looking very proudly at the uh, three pieces. We divided them up into three sections as was the original. And you can see actually, if you look closely here um, behind Adam, the um, the actual seam. Do you know I could talk forever about this piece? I think we're gonna have to come back to it because I always think that the artist who drew it out, you know, this is the proof to me that the artist who drew it out wasn't the same person as the embroiderer. Obviously it wasn't. Um, and nowadays we expect it to do everything, you know, draw it, create it, design it, stitch it, frame it, everything. But in those days they were separated off as very highly paid separate skills. And in this piece, Adam and Eve, I think were drawn out in the opposite way. And if you look at their body size and strength and muscular development, I think you might just agree with me, but you know, Val and I and the two other girls that helped us, we spent three years talking about this piece every month when we met and we had lovely stitching at home session. Um, the dye used for the wools, um, uh, cochineal dyed, and actually we deliberately changed the dye colour or or we're deliberately not fussy about the design, uh, about the colour of the wool changing slightly, because on the original, you can see that there are several different dye lots, several different levels of expertise of stitcher, several different um, ideas of how the stitches worked. So uh, there's a lot of um, long and short buttonhole stitch in this. And you could see that some people were left-handed and right-handed, or perhaps they were just ambidextrous. It's really you know, it becomes an obsession. When you replicate a piece, I think that is when you really begin to begin to understand it.